and you would always find pads so this is the moped moped pad and <laughs> a girl can never be too sure and just in case you decide to be full you know and you don't have any means to change because one thing i love about this country is that there is restroom every single way like i don't know why i'm still carrying nigerian notes. so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is totally different from what i have done on my channel it's a what is in my bag video so this is a nigerian canada girl you know telling you what is in her bag in this video and today's video is in collaboration with my homegirl Tinafe. Tinafe is also a Nigerian YouTuber living in Belgium. So she's also going to be doing the same kind of video. But you know, obviously, things in her bag will be different because one, she lives in Belgium, and two, she's different from me. So, guys, when you're done, don't forget to head over to Tinafe's channel. Look for that video and watch that video, but I'm going to make it easier for you by dropping her link in the description box. Hey so this is the bag that is going to be debuting on this channel for the first time. So if you know me well, like if you really know me, you will know that I am no fan of big handbags. So I literally like to carry bags like this, bags that have straps, whether small, big. I used to do really small bags before, like very small, but as you know, we grow older, we begin to add so many things in it. Anyways, let's dive into this video. So this bag was thrifted. I got this bag for 500 naira in Sele. So the part of Sele where I got this bag was on the other side going into Okota or Ago and it was for 500 naira. I like the bag. It has, it looks like a very solid leather and I paid and picked it. So let us unbox the bag. So the first thing in my bag is you'll find is, is that how you find gum? or you find sweets so this sweet actually has a little bit of mint in it and i don't know the name let me see if i can find the name ice mint oh casey candy ice mint so you find mint bubble gums in my bag you would find my phone this is you know one of my phones i'm using the other phone to film with it and in the same bag my earpiece is there, very important. You would find my rosary. I'm a Catholic, so we have to represent, you get. Then what else can you find in my bag? You'll find my purse. Remember when I said I wasn't a wallet or a purse person, but this purse was given to me by my then boyfriend who is currently my husband. I've had this purse for more than four years or maybe five i can't remember maybe four to five years and i love the whole animal skin feel to it i think i got i got it in 2014 i think that was or 2015 i can't remember so let us open what is in the post so <laughs> the post is literally like this and things i have here are you know very irrelevant i have passport photographs and i don't know why i keep carrying you know tell us from bank like after you finish paying you know the tell us slip that's supposed to be for you for the customer i don't know why i keep carrying that up and down this is my passport and in here is empty here i have my grt bus card i have my pr card I have my, I have, um, you know, um, ATM cards. I have the one I got from here and I have my access bank card. I have my card from simply financials and I have my card from CD bank. Then in here, you find money i don't 
I don't know why I'm still carrying Nigerian notes. So you'll find Nigerian notes in my bag. This is 10 10 Nara. They are very new. That was why, you know, <laughs> I have refused to put it away. Then you have 50 Nara. You have another 50 Nara, 5 Nara. 50 Nara, 500 Nara. Then I also have Canadian notes. So the first time I saw this Canadian notes, I actually thought to myself, I'm like, oh, so this is where Nigerian people decided to copy this polymer kind of thing because it has, you know, the same feel with the Nigerian notes. But if you like I say this one quality, this one quality, you know, they stronger than this one. You get. So I just it just got to my mind. I'm like, oh, so Nigerians actually, you know, they were trying to copy the canadian money so i have ten dollars and this is what twenty dollars looks like so i have just twenties and tens alongside my nigerian notes then i have a copy of my g1 license i have coins in my bag trust me guys it took me a while to be able to know what coins is for you know what denomination because like the one dollar coin actually doesn't say one dollar yeah the one dollar coin that's the one canadian dollar coin actually doesn't say one dollar it just says dollar so i think the the gold coin is one dollar then the gold and silver coin is two dollars and the i don't know this is 25 cents so i just have coins in, in my purse and also in the same purse i have my wedding ring and my engagement ring don't ask me why this ring is in my purse instead of my fingers i don't even know too so that i also have um lip balm i talked about this lip balm in my 2019 favorite and it's the blitex bliss text lip medics it's for sore dried and cracked lips and trust me this is one of the best things that have happened to me in this winter weather okay i'm trying to get it out so i have a very little you know body mist in my bag i have a pen and my wristwatch and also a pencil don't ask me what the pencil is doing in the bag i also have complimentary cards from you know from like recruitment firms i have had interviews with then i have a very folded paper towel and you would always find pads so this is the moped moped pad and a girl can never be too sure and just in case you decide to be full you know and you don't have any means to change because one thing i love about this country is that there is restroom every single way like everywhere you go into there is a washroom so it is called washroom over here restroom bathroom toilet is called a washroom so yeah you would always find a pad especially when it's you know around that time of the month or way before that time of the month you would always find a pad in my bag because you don't know so you can help someone someone has actually actually given me a pad you know when i was in need and it was not even that person's period and the last thing in my bag is a pair of earrings so i like to keep a pair of earrings in my bag just in case I forget to wear earrings going out and you know, hey, it's true, I have earrings in my bag. So a pair of earrings are usually for emergencies whenever I forget to, you know, wear earrings. So that's pretty much it. The bag is empty. That's actually what is in my bag. I know this is like a random, very random video from what I, I usually do on my channel, but I just decided to do something fun, you know. What is in a bag of a Nigerian girl who, you know, recently moved to Canada? I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to head over to Tina Fish channel and watch her own video. I'm sure you're going to find some more interesting things in her bag. I'll see you all in my next video. Do have a fab day ahead, guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Love you all. Bye.